The baseball world is on fire, and from the looks of it, it's not cooling down anytime soon, all thanks to Paul Skeens. At just 21, he's got the laser-sharp focus of an eagle, the brute strength of an ox, and he has just shattered records with the quickest debut by a top pick in 35 years. So, without a doubt, Skeens might just be the game changer baseball's been waiting for. But beyond his impressive numbers, there is one scary detail everyone seems to be overlooking. Watch this video till the end to find out what it is. And while you're at it, don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe to stay updated on all your favorite players and everything baseball. Now, back to Paul Skeens. Born to Craig and Karen Skeens on May 29, 2002, in Fullerton, Paul practically had a baseball as his first toy. Growing up in Lake Forest, California, and attending El Toro High School, where notable major leaguers like Nolan Arenado and Matt Chapman also honed their skills, Paul continued to shine in the sport. He spent three years on the varsity baseball team, showcasing his versatility as a two-way player, rotating between catcher, first base, third base, and pitching. During his junior year, Skeens committed to attending the United States Air Force Academy, where he fully embraced the discipline and lifestyle of a service academy. As a freshman, he dove headfirst into a rigorous six-week basic training program, tackled coursework in chemistry, and committed to memory the intricate customs and courtesies of military life. And when baseball practice wrapped up, his day was far from over as he was also committed to study sessions and tutoring sessions for his freshman teammates in math and science. But even among a crowd of driven, high-achieving individuals, Skeen's zeal for baseball stood out. His journey with the Air Force Falcons was marked by stellar performances, earning him spots on all-star teams across various leagues. By his senior year, he was not only leading the team as the captain, but also dominating on the field with an impressive 0.33 ERA and a handful of home runs. Despite the season's premature end due to the COVID-19 pandemic, his talent was undeniable, earning him recognition on the all-country first team. After high school, Skeen stayed true to his commitment to play college baseball for the Air Force Falcons. In his debut season at Air Force, he quickly made a name for himself, earning the title of Mountain West Conference Freshman of the Year. He also clinched spots on the first-team All-American list by prestigious publications like the College at Baseball newspaper, Baseball America, and the NCBWA. During the summer of 2021, Skeens took his talent to the Cape Cod Baseball League, suiting up for the Wareham Gateman. And in 2022, he reached new heights, clinching the esteemed John Olerund Award solidifying his status as the nation's top two-way player. At this point, Skeen's remarkable performance was beginning to give him all the recognition he rightfully deserved. For one, he found himself listed on the Golden Spikes Award watch list and ranked as the number two college prospect for the 2023 draft. And if we're being honest, it wasn't so much of a surprise. His stats spoke volumes batting an impressive 4-10 with a team leading 11 home runs, all while showcasing his pitching prowess by consistently hitting 100 miles per hour as a closer and securing 11 saves. As the draft buzz intensified, Skeens found himself in the spotlight, hailed as a top three pick by all three big names alongside his LSU teammate, Dylan Cruz. ESPN, Fangraphs, and Keith Law of The Athletic had him at number three, while Baseball America bumped him up to number two. But the ultimate recognition came from MLB.com, ranking him at the very top spot. MLB Pipeline didn't hold back in their praise for Skeens, giving his fastball an 80 grade, the highest possible score. They couldn't stop raving about his average fastball speed of 98 miles per hour with occasional bursts hitting a jaw-dropping 102 miles per hour. And it wasn't just his fastball that impressed. They also gushed over his slider and gave a nod to his changeup. Standing tall at six foot six inches and weighing 235 pounds, Skeens embodied the classic starter profile. 
It's no wonder MLB.com likened him to the best pitching prospect since Steven Strasburg back in 2009. With this kind of force and intensity, every team in the MLB had their eyes set on him. It was pretty clear that he had the kind of power and intensity that made it hard to believe he was just 21 years old. Luckily, the Pittsburgh Pirates was the team that won the first MLB draft lottery. And as soon as they did, they selected Paul Skeens with the first pick in the draft. With the ink still fresh on his contract, Skeen secured a record-breaking $9.2 million bonus, setting a new benchmark for draft picks. This deal helped Paul make history by becoming the second player in LSU history to be chosen first overall in the draft, following in the footsteps of Ben McDonald. As expected, Skeen's arrival on the scene immediately made waves, landing him as the third-ranked prospect league-wide and earning him the title of the top-ranked pitcher on MLB.com's MLB Pipeline list. Less than a month after signing, Skeens got assigned to the rookie-level Florida Complex League Pirates. With his LSU workload in mind, the team opted for a cautious approach, easing Skeens into the season with limited innings. Stepping onto the mound, Skeens wasted no time making an impact. He kicked off his outing, by forcing center fielder Byron Churio to ground out on a blistering 99 mile per hour four seam fastball. Just three pitches later, he induced a flyout off the bat of shortstop Brandon Winokur. And to cap off his brief but dominant performance, Skeens even sent designated hitter Walker Jenkins, the fifth overall pick in the recent draft, back to the dugout with a swinging strikeout on an elevated 99 mile per hour four seam fastball. In total, Skeens delivered 11 pitches, with an impressive eight of them finding the strike zone. And almost all of those pitches were scorching fastballs, ranging from 99 to 101 miles per hour. But as if that wasn't enough, Skeens also shattered a bat, leaving no doubt about the force he brought to the mound. After such an impressive debut performance, the Pirates were certain they had struck liquid gold. And with that, they hit Skeens with a promotion just five days later, landing him a spot with the single-A Bradenton Marauders. Just six days after that, they changed their mind entirely and decided to promote him again, this time to the double-A Altoona Curve. The Pirates wanted Paul Skeens to get a taste of triple-A action with the Indianapolis team to kick off the 2024 season, hoping to give him some more pro experience before his big league debut. And true to form, Paul didn't disappoint. In just one start, he turned heads by pitching three perfect innings and striking out five batters. But what really caught everyone's attention was the sheer power of his pitches. Out of the 21 fastballs he threw, Paul was bringing the heat, averaging a whopping 100.1 miles per hour. He hit triple digits a dozen times even reaching a peak of 101.2 miles per hour in the third inning. Not a single one of his fastballs came below 99.1 miles per hour. Now, that's the kind of performance that set the field on fire, especially when you consider the fact that only two major league pitchers, Jacob deGrom and Hunter Green, have had starts with as many fastballs and a higher average velocity in MLB history. The Pirates were clearly blown away by Paul's performance in AAA, so much that they wasted no time in giving him a shot on the big stage. While it obviously sounds pretty cool, not many truly understand what this means. This move automatically makes Skeens the earliest called number one pick to ever walk the planet. And in his MLB debut against the Chicago Cubs at PNC Park, the 21-year-old flamethrower wasted no time making a statement. Skeens took the mound with confidence, immediately showcasing his talent by striking out the first two batters he faced. His performance was nothing short of electrifying, as he fired off nine pitches over 100 miles per hour in the first inning alone. Now, it's as clear as day. It's not every day that a pitcher like Paul Skeens comes along. With the ability to ramp up to 102 miles per hour, he's in a league of his own, leaving even seasoned veterans in awe. It's rare for a starter to consistently throw triple-digit fastballs, 
let alone with such precision and power. But Skeens is more than just a fireballer. He boasts an arsenal of five pitches, each one capable of generating swings and misses. But apart from how incredible his performance was, Skeens' debut also made history to have drawn the fifth largest audience in MLB.TV history. And to think that the guy is only just starting his career. Seeing a 21-year-old with such command, not only on the mound, but also on audiences, speaks volumes about his potential. We don't know about you, but it's pretty scary to think of how good he'll be as he grows older. But hey, that's just our take. We'd love to hear what you think in the comments.